They say that when you are dying, your life passes in images. Your memories, regrets, loves, losses compiled into that of a montage or a PowerPoint presentation as your final moments pass by. But I think that's bullshit. I hate to reflect as much as I love to ponder, brood, review every single misstep, flaw, mistake I've ever made, and I would like to think that I will not repeat this on Death's Door because that would be a repeat of my Friday nights, and in that case, just shoot me in the head before I can have that happen again. But to quote every fantasy movie trying to take itself seriously, there is always balance. The good memories are there, too. To look at memories tinged with numbness is like watching a movie through a film of ice and it is as fascinating as it is chilling to look back on apathy. I make revelations every single day, often repeats because my memory is poorer than that of a goldfish or something that has a very bad memory. I am not sure. How would I be able to remember? But my revelations are messy like how all my life, all life is messy and for the first time in my life I am accepting messy. I have never understood myself as much as I have tried to understand myself. My thoughts never reach fruition or even leave the drawing board but now I can accept that I will be in the dark and it is okay not to know because I do not ever know. As I sit here writing this poem, I know I am supposed to talk about how my mental health has changed since I realized I was genderqueer, but I do not know what words I can use to describe it now. Yes, I am better than before, I am not as empty as before, but I do not know how I can describe this in words that make sense because this is simply how my life is now. The scars never fade, only ache less and less, and I patch up the holes with glue and plaster and cover them with clothes to hide the patchwork skin. It is still hard. It is always hard. But the emptiness, it aches a little less now. I still feel hunger in my soul beneath my skin, but it is lessened now, and I can manage it for now. For now, at least, and I am grateful for this, yes, but it is still difficult. It is always difficult. I suppose that I have always known that it would be difficult and that the difficulty does not cease. And it just changes, adapts, grows, lessens. Each step is another step, and I know this. I do. I know this. I just... It is hard to be grateful when all you want is normal. Even if you do not know what normal is and do not know if normal is even what you want to desire. All I want is something maybe normal, maybe not, maybe the status quo, maybe change, maybe I do not know. I definitely do not know, but I do know that I am less empty than before. I am more sure than before that I can walk on my feet without wobbling, without looking in the mirror and crying, and I know I must take small victories. So I do. I look, I laugh, I smile, I bask, and I appreciate. Life is short, I know, I know, it is unlikely, I will know what I want, and I accept this, I know. I know, I know, I know. So, I move on. I look back with fondness. I look back, and I smile for the first time. The journey is far from over. I have time.